Are you thinking of moving to Edmonton? Well, I'm gonna give you the top nine things you need to know about Edmonton before moving here. Number one, Edmonton is a small city. Now, small is relative. If you're moving from Vancouver to Toronto, it is small compared to those cities, and it's only a little bit smaller than Calgary. Edmonton, even though it is a small city, does have all the amenities of a big city. Number two, healthcare is public, as in you don't have to pay for it, it comes out of your taxes, but it doesn't include dental. Now, this is pretty typical if you're moving from across Canada, but if you're moving here from outside of the country, this is something that may surprise you. Number three, there are many public transportation options, but I think you still need a car. After all, this is a winter city. We're experiencing winter, you know, four to five months. So if you think you can handle carrying groceries for a block or two or waiting 15 minutes to 30 minutes for a bus outside in that cold weather, then you probably don't need a car. But if you can't handle that, I would say that you do. Number four, if you've watched my video on the five reasons not to move to Edmonton, then you would know this is one of the reasons I say most people might not want to live here. And that is because of the winters. They're cold, dry, and long. When do winters actually start? Well. Anytime in October, we're always wondering if Halloween is going to have snow on the ground or if we're gonna make it to November 1st without snow on the ground. Although it can snow in September and October, usually that snow doesn't stay around. But come November, once it snows, it usually sticks around until March, sometimes April. You can expect the golf courses to open mid to late April, depending on the season. Number five, there are two main school systems for your kids public and Catholic school. So if you go online and you search for the public school system or the Catholic school system, it'll give you the list of programs that they offer and the locations of the schools. It's really important to know the location of the schools and where you're gonna live because you can only go to certain schools from certain locations. Even though most of the schools in Edmonton are English speaking, you do have some bilingual options in the public school system and the Catholic school system. In the public system, you'll find Arabic, Cree, Mandarin, French, German, Hebrew. And in the Catholic school system, you're gonna find Cree, Polish, Spanish, French, and Ukrainian. Number six, Edmonton is the most affordable city in Canada to live in. Just let that sink in. In fact, Edmonton is basically on sale when you compare the average home prices here to other cities like Calgary, Greater Toronto, and Greater Vancouver. Now, if you look at the Canadian Real Estate Association's website, it's gonna tell you that the average home price in Edmonton is $341,000. You'd have to buy a pretty old house to get a house for that price. Newer homes are closer to the $400 to $450 thousand dollar range for starter homes. But still, that's way lower than the average in Canada, which is 686,000. If you're gonna buy in the greater Vancouver area, you're looking at spending an average of 1.18 million for a house. And in the greater Toronto area, you'd be spending over a million as well. Number seven, Edmonton has the lowest taxes in Canada. Low taxes in Edmonton, do apply to all places in Alberta, but Edmonton is clearly the best city. We not only have the lowest provincial income tax, we only have one sales tax for goods and services, which is GST, and that's 5%. In other provinces, their combined sales tax is anywhere between 11% and 15%, with most of them having 15%. Number eight, there is surprisingly a lot of shopping in Edmonton for a small city. In fact, Edmonton has the second largest mall in North America. West Edmonton Mall, short version, is a WEM. West Edmonton Mall was the largest mall in the world until 2004. In addition to West Edmonton Mall, there are a couple other large malls in our city and major shopping areas like the one in South Edmonton called Edmonton South Common, which includes the largest Canadian tire store in all of Canada. Other examples of shopping that Edmonton has we have two Apple stores, Best Buy, several Home Depots, eight Costco's, and plenty of Walmart super centers. As for groceries, the popular stores include Superstore, Safeway, Save On Foods. And finally, number nine, the most common language in Edmonton is English. Even though Canada is bilingual with English and French, 
Most of the signs, except for some smaller communities, only have English on them. They do not have French. So if you want to get around comfortably in Edmonton, then you would also need to know a little bit of English. So if you want to learn more about moving to Edmonton, check out my other videos. As I mentioned before, I have one called five reasons why you shouldn't move to Edmonton, 15 reasons why I love Edmonton, and moving to Edmonton, the Edmonton area explained. That's a really important one because Edmonton is the center, like five other cities and four other counties. If you like this video, click the like button and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.